All right, as long anticipated, I need to start building out my trailer. I'm at least gonna get the office built, it's crucial. Well, that was short-lived. Their cutting machine is out of order. I'm glad I just went straight to lumber first before getting all the other shit I need. Luckily, there is a Lowe's not that far away. Okay, that was pretty successful. I got everything except the sawhorses, which is unfortunate because they couldn't do some of the cuts, they were too small. So I really need the sawhorses to do what I need to do, but at least we got the other stuff. Now we're gonna unload all this lumber and stuff. This has just been a nightmare, I'm not gonna lie. of these for you know the five gallon water containers to dispense mine finally broke but I mean I've been so abusive to it so I have to say it's pretty sturdy under the circumstances before I do anything else I need to be able to cut wood so I gotta go get some sawhorses Now, while I've been out running all these errands, Riot is being babysat because she had an unfortunate, really unfortunate accident. Um, she got into it with another dog, uh, and uh, that dog ripped open her mouth really bad. She had to go in for emergency surgery to reattach her lip and gums to the mandible. Luckily, the mandible wasn't like crushed or anything. Um, it's a dog we don't really know. It's one of the risks of bringing your dog to like a dog park. The dog and this dog, it was over the doorway when uh, the other dog was coming in, Riot was right there by the door. And it happened very fast, but Riot kind of, Riot was shitty to the dog. Riot's not normally shitty to dogs, but she was like, I don't know, spatially defensive. She's normally fine, but she like um, lifted her lip and the other dog took pretty bad offense to that and grabbed Riot by the mouth and would not let go. It took a couple people to separate them and way too much time. Okay, I have picked the baby up from daycare, if you will. Hello, right, look this way. Look this way over here, you can see. Her mouth is really kind of jacked, it's hard to get it on film. It's better than it was yesterday though, so that's good. Hey! Yeah, we're back at our house. in the eyes I don't know uh, so I think about that because I, I feel like I have the responsibility for me as an individual to detect evil club kids and Gigi Allen Gigi Allen's a uh, you know kind of punk rock performer hard rock performer who passed away and the audience and Gigi Allen was very uh, aggressive and like a crazy person because when you're talking to someone like that uh, either of us and it's like a Jeffrey Epstein party now I am doing this by myself, but I have a friend, his name is Kevin, he's an actual carpenter, but he's in the Northeast, so he's not here hands on with me, but we are going back and forth via text and email, and he's helping me with the basic design and some carpentry knowledge, because that is not in my wheelhouse. So if you're a person that feels overwhelmed because you don't have carpentry experience, I don't either and we're gonna do the best we can and we're going to have fun doing it <coughs> if i sound congested it's because i am i got covid it's happening 
even to the vaccinated, so uh, be careful out there. And I got it from uh, one person. I know who I got it from, and uh, it's okay. It is what it is. The Phillips. Okay. Okay. I have not been very good about vlogging this whole process because to be honest, I'm frustrated with myself. My poor friend Kevin, the carpenter up in the Northeast, has been trying so hard to help me remotely. Huge thank you to Kevin for helping me out, teaching me how to cut curves, teaching me how to use aluminum, and uh, we're doing stuff. So I used the aluminum to make these like brackets to help hold the desk. I did cut it a little short, so I had to make a patch. I wanted more of a keyboard area after I had already cut it to 13 inches. I'm gonna be adding another shelf there. I just need a longer bracket on this side. Uh, but I used three quarter inch blonde wood for the top. I'm gonna be staining it. We have a support leg here. It's a two by three. I'm gonna be powering the office with the Bluetti primarily. I have my solar I also have the little jackery. I have my solar now in this cabinet with some other things. I have the batteries braced so while in transport they ought not move around. And I have all my solar components and kind of ugliness in here now. I'm going to be staining everything. I guess it's a stain, but it's teak oil. My partner rebought me new cabinets for here where you know for those that have been following along we had the motorcycle incident with the old cabinets he he bought me new ones i'm going to be rebuilding the bed in time i have an idea for like creating like a little bathroom scenario over here all in due time but yeah things are coming along oh and if anyone's wondering COVID does suck yes 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 it is Looks pretty good, I think. It's functional. It's riot approved. I'm able to stand here. It's ergonomically correct for height. So my back stays straight. So uh, that's that. So as many of you know, I'm Lex. I live full time in this cargo trailer and uh, I've been living on the road for going on three years. I really enjoy it. I am kind of uh, lot docking in Florida for the winter. It's rather boring, uh, but you know, as I continue making improvements on the cargo trailer, I'll continue filming it. And I thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoy uh, the oddities of a, of a lady that chose to live in a six by 12 aluminum box. Right, Pinky Pie? Yay, say goodbye. How'd you look? Let's see. Look at it, it's healing! It's all healing up! Yay!